to begin. Hi there, this is Ray Garrett, and we are going to go over the profile creation in Zap. Your profile is by far the most important thing that you'll create on the website because it directs more traffic to you than any other uh, tool that's on the site. So we are going to cover that really quickly here just so you can get your set up. Now, uh, first you see we've logged into Zap here. If you scroll down, this is the menu to the left side. If you scroll down, the bottom says My Website. You're going to click on that and then you're going to click on the agent profile, the create the agent profile. Now once in the agent profile, uh, first thing typically we're going to do is create a new photo. You do that by clicking the little uh, little plus here to add a new photo. And you're just going to choose your uh, headshot that you have set aside. Now I'll say that if you do not have a headshot, please go ahead and create your uh, profile first. And then, uh, and, you know, with any picture, and then get your profile up later. It's more important you get your profile up. So once you have your, your photo in the uh, box here, you can go ahead and kind of crop it to, uh, to get to where you want it to be. Um, so once you've got that cropped, you go ahead and add that photo, and there you go. The next thing that you're going to want to do is add a description about yourself. Uh, you keep it brief, but it really should be why someone would choose you. They're going to read this. I would say it's going to be fairly brief, uh, but there is, uh, now you can see here that sometimes these don't, uh, whatever reason, let me see if we can make this work better here. So anyway, you're going to add that, you're going to add that text there. Since my text is added here, I'm going to go to the next phase. Now the next phase of this is going to be your uh, it's going to be your video. Now uh, if you have a video, great. If you if you don't, I would suggest creating one, but not before you create your profile. Remember, get your file live first. You can go and add and correct this as many times as you want to, but you need to get something up and something live first. It's really, really important. But in order to add a, a YouTube video here, it asks you to paste the ID of the YouTube video. So I'll show you how to get that ID here really quickly. So if I go to any YouTube video, the easiest way to do it is to copy it from the URL. ID is located in this long URL stream right here, but it, in order to know what that uh, ID is, the easiest way to do that is to right click on the video, put it on the stats for nerds. When you do that, you see the video ID here. Um, in the ZIE, it starts with the PYM. And you can see right up here, that's it. It's after the equal sign and before the hashtag. So I'm just going to grab that right there and take it back over to my profile. Paste that in, hit save. Once I do, uh, it will update with my video. Next are reviews. And uh, reviews are going to play a major role in creating your profile. So um, reviews, you, you don't have a hand in that. Clients get to write what they want to write. So you can alter how these reviews appear, though, or you can just not have reviews at all if you choose to do that, although that's not recommended. So um, what, we, what we'll do here, we'll click this little uh, click here button, and I'll show you where this takes us. It takes us over to a way to be able to set up our review. Now, first of all, here's a link that you can send to your current clients or past clients to have them write you a review. So if you send them that link in an email, you, they, they can write you a review on your site. Next, you're going to be able to collect some options. So do you want to prompt people only after they, they're closed to write reviews, or do you want to prompt clients and clients that have completed a visit? I highly recommend doing that one. You want to get as many reviews as you possibly can from as many people. Uh, reviews are really important. And then secondly, actually rather, you can go in and display either your reviews or just testimonials, depending on what you want. The testimonials, you just type those up. Uh, ratings or reviews are in real time, and typically we find that clients uh, prefer that, uh, the ratings and reviews. So I'm going to save my settings and go back to my profile document. So that is reviews. Now experience and credentials. Uh, I would suggest going in into this section here, which is just directly down from your review, so we just keep scrolling down, and add as much as you can. Uh, even if you are a brand new agent, you can add stuff like member, National Association of Realtors, and you can add these. You can add these uh, 
credentials. And then as you get more and more, as you become um, more and more credentialed as a professional, you can have these things as you go. But again, get something up there. So you've got credentials and memberships here. We already have that. Um, multi-million dollar producers club and then you have community involvement I highly suggest getting some community involvement in if you're not involved in your community this goes a long way so um, you can see here that this has the member of a church uh, PTA and uh, volunteer at a uh, food bank so um, really basic information finally your referral links are really really important they should be provided on your cloud document these are already established for you but these are these are links that you send out to your client or, or to potential clients if you want them to uh, go to the website. The reason you want to send them these links is because if they register, they become your client rather than just being randomly signed. Now, you can send them directly to your registration page, or uh, you can send them directly to your profile page, or just send them directly to the website. Uh, and if they go to the website, now each of these have different types. For instance, if somebody that doesn't know you very well, you send them directly to the registration page, it's just a form. They might not fill it out. But if you send them to their home site, uh, the home page website, they'll search the web, and if they decide to register, they become your client. So you, you decide when that's going to happen. Here are your ZAP and SOI numbers. So uh, these numbers are displayed on ZAP. First of all, your ZAP number, this is if somebody decides to call you from the website, then they call this number and they're automatically entered as a lead. Now, this is the SOI referral number. This number that you can use on the site if somebody goes into your referral links and they register, then they get this phone number. And if they call it or text it or whatever, they become your lead and the information is collected in the system. A really, really nifty piece of technology. And then it says, would you like to display your referral or mobile number on unregistered website visitors? So you get the choice of picking whether you want your referral number or your mobile number. Now, keep in mind, if you put your mobile number there and somebody contacts you, it does not go in as a lead. You will have to manually put them in the system to track them. And uh, you've got also got your registered logged in users, which phone number they display if they're late as well. So that is the basic profile document. Inside Reach Education, with the daily materials, you'll find a document. And also attached to this module, you'll find a document that will give you more information on setting up your pile and the questions that you might ask in videos and things like that. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.